Hi everyone, this is Dr. Drury Grogan. I'm sorry that I can't be there on the first day of class with you, but my GA, Lucia Gaviria, will be running the class. She's going to show you a video of me giving an overview of our syllabus from the other classes that I was able to give before I had to leave, and then she will facilitate an activity with you. Now, you can ask any questions by email to me. I will be back on the 10th of September for our next class. Unfortunately, I had to schedule a research data collection trip this week, so that is why I'm not with you. But I look forward to seeing you Monday and enjoy today's overview. And again, email me any questions and we can go over things next week in class. This is going to be part of your integrated core curriculum. And you will probably learn more about this next week in your IP class, the Integrated Project class. Essentially what our class will do is help prepare you to give your final oral presentation. So the way it works now, once you get into your sophomore year, is you have a number of business courses this semester. You have communication, management, marketing, accounting, finance, information systems management. All of those are going to feed into an Integrated Project. The idea of Dean Rapicholi and of Gabelli to differentiate ourselves is that you don't take your business classes in such a silo anymore, okay? So you're going to be spanning across in a project fashion and pulling, the project pulls things from different courses. So the project for you in the sophomore year is a marketing challenge. What our role in this class will be to do is to prepare you to give that final 10 to 12 minute presentation in a formal way. So that's what we'll spend the majority of our time in business communication, one, focusing on. My name is Dr. Drury Grogan, although I'm only recently married this summer, so many people know me here as Dr. Drury. My email is still mdrury. You can call me either one, I use both. So if people, if you hear people refer to me as Professor Drury, it's the same person. And I recognize that it's almost two names, but at least in my new name, you still have part of my first name. So I answer to both. So today, I'm going to give you a bit of background about myself. We'll go through the syllabus. I'll tell you a bit more detail about what we'll be doing and how this course will fit into the rest of the core. And then we're going to do an activity for the second half of class, elevator speeches, which I'll explain in a bit more detail when we get to that point. So as is typical fashion, the first day is a bit of introduction, getting you familiar with what it is that we will be doing. So who am I? I always like to give a bit of background because I feel like it gives you a better sense of what I bring to this class. And you'll see when I go over the syllabus that in my class we will never have just a straight lecture. I really believe that you learn anything, much less communication, when you're using it and doing whatever the skills that we're talking about. So there will be time in class where I have slides and I'm giving you information because as a professor, part of my job is to give you information and content to use. But we'll also be using those ideas and theories in class. So my background is similar to many of yours. I went to college, albeit a number of years ago, at a Jesuit college, Canisius College. My degree, my postgraduate degree, PhD and masters are from Northwestern in Chicago. And after I finished all of that schoolwork, I decided that for communication, it was really important to be working in industry. So I didn't take any of the academic job offers and I left academia for a number of years and went to Deloitte. And I worked for Deloitte Consulting in both Chicago and our New York offices. So the number one and number two global headquarters of the firm. And in that role, I was often the communication manager or the training manager on large scale consulting type projects. A lot of my clients tended to be financial services. I was actually working at AIG on Wall Street on a project the day they announced their bankruptcy. So I tell you that because I like to bring in a lot of those experiences into the classroom. As much as possible, I try to make things real world and tell you about times when I saw different things like this in the real world because I feel it's gonna give you a better sense of how to use this material once you leave this room because yes, you'll have assignments and you'll get grades in this room, but our goal is really to prepare you to use these skills outside of this room, in other classes, in internships, and in jobs. So I'll try to infuse a lot of that into our work. After my student to Deloitte, I came back to academia. I was working internationally for a while over in Ireland and in Northern Ireland, managing a number of research projects on communication, decision making on teams. 
And that's what brought me back to Bordeaux, where I'm now an assistant professor in the communication and media management area in the Gabelli School of Business and our graduate school of business. And finally, I also am involved in Toastmasters International outside of work. Has anybody heard of Toastmasters? It's a professional speaking organization where people practice and work on different types of public speaking. They work on leadership style, meeting management, listening skills, and it's open. I mean, any one of you could join this organization, but it's my way of working in the community outside of all of the work that I do in the classroom setting. But suffice it to say, with all of this, I give a lot of presentations, workshops, classes, not only to academic settings, but to practitioners, people in companies, people in industry, conferences, and industry shows, road shows, if you will. So I try to bring all that experience into the class with you so that you can also learn from those experiences as well. Okay, we will get a chance to know a little bit more about you when you do your elevator speeches, but now I'd like to do the bane of everybody's first day of class, the review of the syllabus. If you have your computers, you can follow along. I am actually going to switch to my Word version in a moment. I have given you, this is on Moodle, I realize that's kind of which comes first, the chicken or the egg. But here is how you can access the course packet. If you log into Moodle, click on the left hand side on our course, you will see a topic outline in a number of rows. Okay, I think the second one says syllabus and course packet. You see the little PDF icon, and that is what you click on to download the syllabus. Then there'll be another row that has course materials. You'll see I've organized it each week. So for now, the first three weeks are published. You have week one, and that's where I'll post all of our slides. And anytime there is supplemental reading that you have for class, it doesn't come from the textbook. So for now, I will exit this out. challenging to see because we're now in Word, but we'll, we'll make do. Don't panic. I put all of my sections on the one course packet because it's easier for me to manage one versus four of the same document, but I put every section. All right, as we move down on the course packet, you can see my instructor details, my office. I do have an office up here at Rose Hill. It's in favor, 463. I also have one down at Lincoln Center. Now, I typically tend to be at Rose Hill on Mondays and Thursdays. Those are my teaching days up here. So I don't post office hours. In my experience, I post them and they end up being a waste of time because nobody shows up or they don't suit your schedules. However, I'm certainly willing and flexible to meet. Ideally, if we can make that on a Monday or Thursday, it works best. If for some reason it doesn't work out, I can try to arrange my schedule if I have enough advance notice and not be down at Lincoln Center and try to be at Rose Hill on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday. But I won't be able to do that, you know, if you send me an email that morning, I'll probably already be at Lincoln Center or on my way there. So make sure if you do need to meet another day, that you plan ahead and let me know. But Mondays and Thursdays will work best. And all you need to do is send me an email. My email is here. It's Andrew. It doesn't have my full married name, but that's okay. You can still, you can still find me. It's shorter to type. So mdrury at fordum.edu. Does anybody know a little bit what we mean by the integrated core curriculum? Is that a familiar term to you? You could do what you said. Yes or no. I see a few yeses and I see many heads not moving, so I will take that as a no. Let me just give you a brief introduction because I recognize you do not have, you haven't had any other classes. Dean Rappacholi and the Gabelli School of Business decided that they wanted to give students a more well-rounded view of what it means to work in business. And it also differentiates for them. So what that means is when you come into your sophomore year, all of your business courses will be teaching you, we integrate ourselves as faculty, but we will be preparing you for your one course, your IP course, they will call it, the integrated project course, for that project. Because that course is going to pull from business communication, from management, marketing, accounting. It's going to pull facets from all of your business classes so that you're not just working in a silo. Because in the workplace, the accounting department doesn't just work in its own silo of accounting. The research and development department doesn't only work in its own silo. Things cross 
over each of those silos. So we figured, what better way to prepare you and teach you for that situation than to integrate our courses ourselves. When is your marketing class? Anybody know? If you're only focused on the first day, that's okay. I know there's a lot. Anybody know when you're, it's probably sometime next week, marketing? Your IP class, anybody know when that is? Okay. Marketing, your IP project for the sophomore year is going to be identifying a marketing challenge. So you're going to be put into project team groups, you're going to be assigned a company, and the entire semester you're going to be working on that project, identifying what are some marketing challenges for that company and what are some solutions. In our class, our component of that curriculum is preparing you to deliver your final presentation on that marketing challenge and that solution. So about 75% of our course will be spent on public speaking and preparing you to deliver that presentation. So we'll have a number of activities and a number of presentations where you're practicing components of that final presentation. But that's what we mean by the integrated core. All of your business classes now integrate in some way. So for our class, we're working to improve your leadership skills, your interpersonal skills, and ultimately your speaking and writing skills. We will spend about 25% of our class looking at career communication, which is going to include things like how do we find a job at? How do we write a cover letter and a resume specifically for that particular job at? So that's going to be the very beginning of our course. Your required materials include the, this course packet that we're going through, which is available to you on our Moodle site. We do have a course textbook. It's available in the bookstore. It's available in the library. I don't care if you don't want to purchase it, but 75% of our course that focuses on public speaking will come from that textbook. And I will expect you to have read those chapters and be familiar with the material. Because we will cover those sections in class, but obviously we only meet for an hour and 15 minutes, only 13 times this semester. So that's a very short amount of time in order for me to deliver the material and for you to practice it. Because we will be doing a lot of activity in this class. I will not stand up here for an hour and 15 minutes purely lecturing to you. Sometimes, actually most classes I will be delivering you some material, but then we'll have group discussions, we'll have class activities, you'll be doing things where you're using the material. Make sure that you check your Fordham email before classes, because sometimes I will send out announcements to you. And you will need a flash drive to save your slides and presentations when we get to that section of our course. You can read my teaching philosophy there, but essentially what it says is what I repeated to you before. I will not stand here and just talk to you. I get that that is very boring for you. It's certainly boring for me. Okay? I will be giving you material during class, but we will be a very active learning environment. And I want you also to participate. Ask questions. Challenge. If you don't agree with something. If something doesn't make sense. I ask you to do it in a respectful way for me and your peers, but of course, I do want you to participate. It creates a much richer learning environment. And I learn things from students as well. So I do want you to, I encourage you to participate. Attendance. We only meet once a week. We're a 1.5 credit course, and we only meet 13 times. So you are allowed one absence that's unexcused. Any beyond that, you need to have an excused absence through the class D. And if you have continual absences, it will result in a reduced letter grade and a reduced participation rate. It may seem harsh, but when we only meet 13 weeks for an hour and 15 minutes, that amount of time is extremely short to get through all the material that we need to get through to prepare you for those final presentations. So attendance is very serious, and I will take attendance every class. We actually have to, by law, to report to the federal government who people who are attending and who aren't, because it gets to the grants that Fordham receives from the government. So we do have to prove who is in class every, every, every week. Deadlines. You'll see in your course packet there is a course schedule, which we'll be going over shortly. And in there it tells you what is due every, every class, whatever assignments there are. And deadlines I also take very seriously. So for every day it's late, you lose a letter grade. I will play a bit of Vanna White here. If you can see roughly, that's what it looks like. And on Moodle, there is a course calendar that looks very similar to this as well. It has the same types of headings. So you'll have it in your syllabus and you'll have it on Moodle to know what is due when. We talked about your participation. It's not enough to just be here, but I'll expect you to be involved in things, ask questions. When I throw a question out, 
have responses, and your groups work together, you'll see that some of our participation includes activities. So for example, when it comes to our presentations, there's an outline that we will be working on. I expect you to have that in class working with your group on that outline, and I will be walking around to make sure that everybody has their outlines for their presentation. That's a part of your participation grade. During class, texting, sleeping, weeding, surfing the internet if you're on your computer, all of that is not acceptable. I expect you to be paying attention. Again, an hour and 15 minutes is a short amount of time, and it's only once a week. So I don't mind if you use your computers. I know that most of us are comfortable taking notes or keeping track of things, but I expect you to be doing coursework. And if I catch you on your computer, I'll ask you first of all to stop doing whatever you're doing, and I may actually have to ask you not to bring your computer or your phone or so on and so forth. I don't like to do that. I would like us all to be adults about this, but obviously I need your attention in class. And like that, please make sure all your phones are turned off or at least on silent so that nothing is going off during class. Things that you can improve on. And I encourage you now to take some time to just jot down a few of those notes because as I said, you will need that information later on in a few weeks when you write your business email and you're assessing your own communication strengths and development areas. Things to watch to improve on when we do our actual public speaking. So to help you remember, it, I find it's useful if you do just put down a few notes for yourself. Then remember to bring in class your job ad and the report that you completed the PRCA. Those things will be due in class in hard copy. Please try to get onto Moodle. It'll make it like easier if you can try to log in and get yourself familiar with that interface sooner rather than later. And if that's all, then enjoy the next two weeks, and I will see you on the 13th of September.